yes so welcome to this course this is a great course on Drupal 9 so you're learning the latest Drupal Drupal 9 our master class we clone three projects hands-on uh, tips and tricks that you should know and um, what you're going to learn from this course you can't see it elsewhere these are actually things we have designed and also uh, got from a lot of uh, research so this course it has different series from beginner then to advanced by the end of this course you should be able to build Drupal sites Drupal projects from start to finish and you can utilize it in every Drupal project so we were able to uh, talk about the the, the the clone when it comes to cloning of so many projects and also how we can use Drupal best modules you can use to install and also uh, best practices tips and tricks we did all that on this course and uh, this course we divided it into several parts where you learn how to do your installation from your installation you go using modules for modules you talk about how you can set up your project how you can build it up and the likes and if you look at what we've done also is that we have been able to do the Google project so Google search we did a clone of Google search and the likes in this project you're going to learn that too you're also going to learn about the Netflix project so the Netflix project where all these things are dynamic they are all calling for what Drupal this is from Drupal. This session is also from Drupal. This session is from Drupal. The frequently asked questions they're all from what Drupal. So even though the the login, so you can do a login. I want to log in uh, into my Drupal project. You can see a customized Drupal login page, not the one you used to see that it will just be like uh, something else. But this is customized to your own team so you can actually do it i'm logging in directly from here i can create a new account from here you can see a customized uh, account creation reset password a customized what's uh, a page for reset password but i'll just log in here and then you get to see that this thing is working very very well you can see i'm already in my drupal site which is a netflix netflix what site so i have it here already you can see all this content you're seeing you have them in our content aspect pages showing from this angle down to you entering your menu down to you setting your uh, structure also not just that all these they are all in the course also we've also done a big project too which is the disney project so you can see the disney project we have on this disney project the menu dynamic menu all these menu they are dynamic if we go to menu if we go to menu session you can see that they are all what dynamic menu we created our menu ourselves we created our menu and we can edit menu we can add let me just add a new menu here and you see that it will come up immediately on the site so we can just add a menu called test and you can see it goes straight to we're picking a, a, a page let's say this and then we'll call it testing and we'll give it a weight and the likes this straight goes to our menu page let's see if it is dynamic or not or it is just calling from somewhere so let's go back to our page you can see it testing and it takes you directly to the page so here we have all this calling for what from a dynamic page here it is calling from Drupal. we have this session we have all the movies calling from Drupal. we have the parks calling from Drupal. we have the footer everything here is calling from Drupal. so you can go to movies to see all the movies so we did a loose purpose so when you continue to add movies you you see more movies on it on it i can show more movies and the likes so every movie you have here you can we all enter them from drupal so you don't need to go through any other site to enter 
movies so when you go to content you can see in content we have our movies here all our movies here and the good part here is that when you look at the movies when we click it you can see it takes you to the movie page and the movie page you have it all these are dynamic this one also is dynamic this content calling here they are all dynamic and here you can see how you can use a lot of the functionalities in it look at let's go to frozen when you try to edit you can see that we're using a, 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 a page called see you can see all the movies are here and then you can add movies to it whatever movie you add here is going to display on the front end you can do add more and you see more movies you can add them dynamically here and it display straight into what to the, the to the side so if you change here to frozen let's say the, the title on this part is frozen 7 just watch frozen 7 is to show you that this thing is working very well so you click on what save and once you click on save we go over to frozen let's see what will be the title in there you can see frozen 7 everything is calling from what the paragraph aspect so there are a lot of things you're going to learn at the menu session which displays every part of the menu you have the content displayed all these images they are all displaying for every movie you click so if you go to uh, Ryan you see it it displays for what all its own content are also displayed and more movies are displayed here let's say I'm going for this I've done frozen let's say I want to do this one you can see everything is displaying on its own and when you click it it takes you to the page of the movie that you want to see so you can see this also we have all this in it so this is a full course you're going to learn you need to learn a lot of things about Drupal and uh, setting the uh, home page the slider and all that those functionalities we've mentioned it in this course uh, you cannot afford to say you won't don't want to learn this thing because uh, Drupal is 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 moving forward and we have a lot of uh, people using Drupal so learn Drupal 9 now look at some comments that we've had from our from some 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 of um, our students some of our students in it they've actually gave us some comment you can see something is true uh, this tutor has a very good uh, Drupal knowledge this one said the course is fun and good to learn you can see so many comments on on this so this is an opportunity for you to learn Drupal 9 and all the functionalities in it so we went deep dive into Drupal enroll now so that you get this course thank you very much and enjoy the course see you in the course enroll now thank you